Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here on the south side of Anchorage, Alaska. This place here used to be the old Sam's Club, right here at Bro Bill. This is where they do all the car meets on Friday night. And then uh, just last year they renovated this place and it's now another AIH. It's the Alaska Industrial Hardware. It's a locally owned Alaska, kind of like Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, but they have, they don't have like a lot of stuff or they don't have like wood and stuff like that, but they have a lot of tools and power tools and stuff like that. Today, I'm interested in one particular item, uh, which is a, to just go check it out. I'll show you guys. Wow, my first time here, man. This place looks really amazing. Wow. So there's actually a couple of these stores. There's like two or three shops. Um, a couple of these stores in Anchorage, and this is one of their main hub. This is their main hub that has a lot of the stuff. So if another store runs out, usually this place has it. So that's the reason why I'm here. But man, this place is really amazing. Looks really, really amazing. Well, I see what I want already. I see exactly what I want, but we're just going to wait for a second. Let me show you guys around. <coughs> Prices are fairly reasonable. <coughs> These are all the sockets. Eight bucks, 10 bucks, six bucks. Those are all in pack. <clears throat> These guys are the ratchet ones. These are super nice. Highly recommend everyone have a set of those. And some of their high value dollar. These are more of their uh, industrial stuff. More like construction worker stuff. Um, two things I buy here a lot. I buy my latex gloves. My orange latex glove here. And then I like to buy my shop, uh, my shop rags. Just for cleaning and stuff like that. Um, I like to get those here because it's just much cheaper. Man, they got a lot of good stuff here. So I guess you can't go to the back. The back is their main warehouse stuff. Yeah, this is really nice stuff. You can see all the construction stuff. They have like a lot of stuff for construction workers. Like outfits and just like um, supplies and stuff. A lot of brand. Milwaukee, um, DeWalt. Um, healthy, healthy, so what you call it, Milwaukee. You can see here all their little power tools. They also have one of my power tools that I'm really interested in buying in the future. This right here, <coughs> this is one of my uh, next big purchase. Maybe I'll get this next year, but I really want to get this. But uh, Home Depot has a better price, or at least 380 at Home Depot for the uh, for the tool and the battery and the charger. That's 250 for just for the two only. But that's one of my big buy hopefully next year but yeah if you guys have never been to aih man check it out man uh, alaska own yeah they have a lot of cool stuff like i said i i do shop at lowe's and home depot a lot but whenever i need something in particular i like to come to this place here and this place has some things that other places don't have a lot of variety of brand you know a lot of variety of brand and this is the warehouse back here. Holy smoke. It's freaking big. They got a lot of stuff, man. They got way more stuff back there. <laughs> so here's all the construction worker stuff. <coughs> Let me show you the uh, rags that I buy for my... For working and stuff. Oh, man. These are the bigger one. <coughs> Wait, these are 8 pounds. Oh, yeah. These right here are the one I buy. These are the 10 pound rags uh 12 bucks it used to be ten dollars before the uh, pandemic but these are just like shirts and stuff like that and i buy these to clean up here's some other stuff over here <coughs> they got some heaters fuel containers body harness a little bit of metal materials not the biggest selection of metal but some metals some chains, some hoists, and uh, caster wheels. They're building all kinds of sorts of stuff. Lots of gloves. These are the gloves that I like to buy right here. These guys used to be only 16 bucks, but now they're like $40. Uh, ever since the pandemic starts so whenever i'm using these 
I, whenever I use them, I always clean them up really good and I don't ever throw them away unless they rip just because they're so expensive now, so. Well, it's time to show you guys what I want. And, you know, this right here. So this yellow thing here is a shop press. So this is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking at AutoZone and all these other places and nobody had any shop press except for this place here. And this is a 12 ton shop press. <coughs> yeah, it looks really, uh, it's not the biggest. It's not a 20 ton or anything, but this is kind of what I was looking for. And it's only 214. Let me check it out real quick. <coughs> See how good it is. This is a 12 ton and that's a 30 ton. A little bit overkill right there. Here's a hydraulic one. Hydraulic ones are nice too. You don't have to worry about uh, pumping it. There's a sand blaster. These are the materials. All right, guys, I don't want to do this purchase, but I need it. Come buy me a new shop press or buy me a shop press. So let's see how this goes. This thing is very special. Um, it's used for a lot of stuff. I got the new shop press in the back of my truck. I'm headed down to Ken's place. You guys all know Ken with the blue Yoda SAS 30, uh, 38s. Um, he has a spear Toyota axle that's still mounted onto a truck that they're parting out right now. So he's letting me keep uh, the axle, half of the axle, and I'm gonna use that to build the uh, bearing puller. And then he's gonna keep the other half. He's like, hey, you can have it for free as long as you give me half of it. So I'm gonna head to his place here in a bit and go pull that axle. And I'll probably see what other spare parts he might have. That dude has a lot of goodies because uh, he's getting ready to move. So he has a lot of Toyota parts. I gotta head back home right now and uh, grab all my tools and put on some pants since I'm wearing shorts right now. Uh, get my saws all, get my grinder, and then let's go chop some metal. Fast forward a little bit, didn't film all the fabrication, but I got the uh, axle from Kim. Shout out to Kim for giving this. <coughs> he let me have this for free if I gave him the other half. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is we chopped it. We got rid of all the um, spring perch hanger and all that stuff. <laughs> and then I welded these little, cut these squares up to it. And it worked already. I already did the passenger side. I'm going to go ahead and press out the driver's side. The press I assembled, oh, really easy to assemble. You can assemble this in less than 30 minutes. 12 ton press. It's already popped out. I, I can hear it. Oh, easy peasy. This is a closer look of the uh, puller. <coughs> this is just the axle. It's been cut up <coughs> and it's been welded on. I had this scrap metal already, so that's pretty much free. And then I can use my well 10, I can use my Harbor Freight 110 welder. 110 is plenty. Like I said, it's just for press work, so. Some good solid beads on it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this. Or I might wait. I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna go buy some bolts. I'm gonna buy some bolts and then weld it to here. And then I can put these nuts, screw these nuts onto it so you don't lose these. And uh, these nuts, they stay on there. So whenever you need to bolt the axle onto it, makes it really easy. So uh, I'll buy like maybe four bolts, about half inch, one, about one inch thick. And then just like have them spiking out and then weld them in so should be pretty good